Welcome back once again to Photoshop Elements TV, the only place you need to go to learn everything you want to know about Photoshop Elements. First, I want to thank all of you out there for who have been subscribing to this channel. I do appreciate that. And tell your friends about it that use photography tools and tricks and want to learn how to do some editing. So today, as I'm sure the title has gave it away, we are making a selection. Now, there's many ways to select your subject in a photograph. But I want to show you a very simple, easy way that you can select someone and pull them out of a background. And maybe you're going to drop them into a new background. Uh, I have another video coming up that we're going to talk about maybe putting them into soft focus. And I'll explain that when we get there. But I like to keep these relatively short, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do on this photograph is we are going to duplicate the background. The reason we do that is to always save the original picture. We're not going to mess with that. So let's do a control J on your Windows computer <clears throat> or a command J if you happen to have a Mac. Okay, that's why we say command J is for the Mac. Control J is for Windows. So you can see here in our layers palette on the right where we duplicated that. What I like to do now is I shut that background layer off. That way I'm sure I'm not going to use that. I'm not doing anything with that layer whatsoever. What we're going to do now is we are going to zoom in just a little bit on this photograph here so we can make a little bit better selection. Now we can do that by using our command or control key and the plus key. Command or control key and plus. Let me make sure we get in here. And we're just going to blow it up. Command or control plus. All right. Now once we get that blown up a little bit, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down a little bit here. Because all I want to do is I want to select the person, right? This 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 uh, female in the photograph in the uh, photograph. Now, I am just uh, so you know using a Wacom or a Wacom uh, tablet to make my selection. You can buy these anywhere. I suggest go on eBay. You can usually find them used for about fifty bucks. If not, you can use your mouse. It's still going to work very well for you. And it's very simple to do. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to come down to our selection brush. All right, we got our selection brush selected. We're going to click on add. Okay, well let's let's even go back. Let's backtrack. You're probably going to start like this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to select the brush tool, selection brush. Or you can use the shortcut, which is letter A. There you go. We have it selected. Now down at the bottom there's a lot of different selection tools we can use. One is the quick selection tool. That's really nice if you're doing like skies or, or big backgrounds. The next is the brush tool, what we're going to use today. We also have the magic wand tool. Now the magic wand tool is, is fairly good. If you click on that, let's take a look. So if I just select the girl here, you'll see like, see how it makes that weird selection all over her top there? Or if you select the bottom, how it makes a weird selection on the bottom. I use that mainly again for like landscape photography. I don't use it too much for selections on people. All right, I just don't find it uh, very easy to use. All right, uh, do undo the magic wand tool. Undo. We can use the command uh, keyboard here. It's Control Z. Okay, Control Z undoes everything. Undo. Next, you can use this one, which is the refine selection brush tool. Now that's after you get a selection, we can refine it a little bit. And then they have the auto selection tool again. I don't know. Let's see how good that does. Uh, you have to kind of make a selection around them. And let's see how that works. The auto selection tool is something new that they put into uh, Photoshop Elements 2022. And we're just going to take that off because not a lot of the not everybody has Photoshop Elements 2022. I do realize that. We're going to use the brush tool. And like I said, we are going to make a selection today and we're going to add, but we're using the mask. All right. I like the mask because it allows me to be very easy and basically paint with color. I'm painting with red. All right. Let's check this out. So again, I'm going to make my brush size a little bigger and I'm just going to start going over and making a selection. All right. Just very simple. Make a selection here. And as you can see, as we're making a selection, what it's doing is the background is masked out. Right? The background is all masked out there. 
let's say we're going to make a selection here. And don't worry if you mess up a little bit. It's okay. It's all right to mess up a little bit when you're making a selection. All right. We're going to go around the other foot here. Gonna back up this pant leg. And go right up around her uh, side of her here. Right up around the old sleeve. And we're going to have to go around the other sleeve here. Again, you can see how much easier it is to make a selection using the mask tool. All right, I'm going to pull this down a little bit here. And we'll just go around her hair. Hair, in a lot of instances, is very hard to deal with. Because hair will go all over the place. And there's tools out there you can buy. There's plugins you can buy for Photoshop Elements that will help you to actually make a really good selection on hair. All right, now once we get that done, all we got to do now is, is just basically color her in. So what I do now is I just get a bigger brush, and I just go through the whole thing, right? Because all this is going to be a part of your selection. All of this uh, girl here, or whoever's in your uh, photograph, is going to be a part of your selection. Now once we get this done... Here, we're going to go down her foot here. I got to scroll down a little bit more. I have her pretty much blown up here because of the fact uh, it's just easier for demonstration purposes. Okay. Now, at that point, she is selected. Okay. She is selected. What we're going to do now, though, is we're going to do some subtraction. So if you come back over on the left to your brush uh, tools here, you click on subtract. Now what we're going to do there is we're going to refine some of this. We're going to go around some of this area here. And we're going to just clean this up a little bit. So I make my brush size smaller. And you'll see now why it's so much better to use a mask when you're selecting than it is just use the selection tools. Because it's a good visual representation of what's selected and what's not because we can see the red easier then we can just see the background. So here we go. We're going to make this selection. And again, this is another way that you could just make some really good selections. And down here, like around the feet, I mean, I don't know if it's that critical. But if you're replacing the background, it's going to be really, really important. Because you want to get all the old background out. You can just see and just get right around there and just... Make it so her toes don't look cut off. Uh, like so. All right. Go down her pant leg right here. Just like so. Again, this is very, very, very tedious work. And I can tell you from years of editing photos, the better you make your selection, the better you're going to be and the happier you're going to be about the end results. And people, you know, you're not going to, people are not going to realize um, it was even edited if you make a really good selection. All right. So again, I'm just going down this other leg. All right. Right down the other side here. But you can see how much easier it is to do it with a mask. Now, you see I just went over her leg here, and you're like, uh-oh. Now we got to start all over again. But you don't. Just take your time. And what you're going to see here is if I go down and I click on Add again, Add, and I go down here, I can just go right back over that area. That's why I like using a mask. Just like right here. It looks like her leg is a little bit pulled in there. All right. Go back over, subtract. And again, I'm sorry for the length of this video. I know I like to keep these relatively short for you, but selection is one of those things where 
uh, it's hard to be perfect with it. I mean, I could do like, I've seen some YouTubers that have it pre-selected and they just click on it. It's like, yeah, I selected it, you know, and I like to do this when I'm working with you. Uh, and maybe at this time you could be working on your photo at the same time. If you're watching this video on another monitor, maybe that's always a good way to learn. And we're not going to worry about too much of the hair at this point. All right, down her shoulder here. Again, like I said, this is just a simple way to get some masking done, okay? Simple way, and an easy way to make a selection. I'm going to show you this, okay? Hang in there with me. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. I don't want to make it too fast and rush. Uh, thank you for all the kind comments I've been receiving about that. It's an easy way to learn when somebody wants to take time with you and actually show you what's going on. Um, and, and I appreciate that. I, you know, that's how I learn. I like to do it one step at a time. I am going to go back down just one more time here over her shoe. And I'm going to use the mouse on this, but I'm going to just come right across the top of her shoe right here. There you go. That's actually a boot. All right. Okay. Now what we're going to do here is very simply, I'm going to go to select put my pen down so i don't mess anything up well first let's go to view and fit on screen okay there she is selected you can see i can still do a little bit more at that top piece there i think <clears throat> just a little bit bad right around her hair so make sure you redefine your selections just around her hair right here I used to teach a lot of these classes in the classrooms for people. I used to go on on site and teach uh, Photoshop elements and photography. And uh, it's funny because people like, well, how do you use that tablet when you're looking to the left and you're writing to the right? It's kind of interesting. It's weird, but that's the way it works. All right, so there she is, right? So I have her selected, all right? If we go without a mask, if we go back to selection, you'll see where she is, in fact, selected. Some people on I've heard on YouTube call that the marching ants. Um, and we can clean that up a little bit. You can see around the top of her head. And this is your mask. All right. So maybe I'll do that just there on top of her head. I just noticed that. Sorry. Like I said, I want to make this as realistic as possible. I don't want to run her off here and you say, oh, no, he didn't do a good job. So I'm just going to bring out some of her hair right here at the top of her head. Make it look more natural. Okay. All right. Once you get the selection the way you want it, again, you can check it. If you come down to your toolbar and you click off a mask and you click on selection, you can have a look at it and say, yep, she's selected. I mean, I would like to add maybe right there on her arm just a little bit right here. Just like so, especially when I'm editing wedding pictures. I mean, I am like very, very super precise with wedding pictures. All right. Everything looks fairly good now. I, I really, I, I like the way it looks. It's a good selection. Um, just like so. Okay. Um, yep, that looks really good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take her and we're going to remove her from the picture okay now why do we do that well we do that so we can replace backgrounds um, i'm going to be doing another video here um, probably following this video on what's called soft focus i'll explain to you what that is in that video we'll talk about that a little bit but okay so what's going to happen here is we're going to go to to selection and inverse inverse so what that does if you watch it okay here let's go back to mask so we can see what happened so what happened was everything around her now is selected and she is no longer selected okay she is no longer selected so everything around her is selected now the reason we do this is simply so we can hit control or command j and you can see now check this out watch this we now have a background without our subject 
So what does that mean? You're like, okay, so what? You have a background without the subject. If you're changing backgrounds, and I'm sure I'll do a video on changing backgrounds later down the road, but okay. Now what makes this really nice is this is the pretense for how you would change your backgrounds. And you can put the subject in, in any different background you want. Let's just say really quickly for this demonstration, if you go under your create a new fill or adjustment layer, and let's just say for now, we're just going to go to solid color. And you can see that now she has the green behind her. Okay. We have a, a light green. Uh, you can do blue maybe. You could do light blue. You get the idea. So there's a, so much you can do with this. And it's just so easy once you get the subject removed from the photograph. There's so much you can do uh, with the subject. And a lot of you are going to tell me, don't leave me in the comments. Hey, bub, uh, you're going to say, hey, buddy, uh, you have a lot of problems there because you have, um, you know, all that mess going on around her hair and stuff. But I told you it was kind of a quick and dirty selection uh, just to get, you know, uh, something to show you how to make a selection. And I also showed you how to use the uh, masking tool when you're making a selection. And I showed you a quick and easy way to change colors and drop a different color background on your subject or with your subject there. So thank you very much for watching this video tutorial of Photoshop Elements. And I hope that you're, if you're not subscribed, please click that little subscribe button. It helps to move us up in the rankings. And I'm going to have a lot more videos, or tons of videos coming for you about Photoshop elements, so you're going to want to stay notified. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep those shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.